Alright, hey everyone, this is Go For Lunch, Go Side Tech Week 3. Uh, Hi, I'm Jackie. Hi, I'm Afif. I'm Jeremy. I'm Clark. And I'm Ryan. Alright, so inverter rockets, you need two tea bags, one match, and a little bit of hope. Uh, you really just want to uh, put the tea bags together, and um, you like the top part, and it burns to the bottom and lifts itself up. So how this works is that uh, the heat burns the structure, the structure where um, it's in the bottom, and because the hot air is less dense than the cold air, like around it, it lifts the um, ashes uh, for the remainings. And uh, straw rockets, you need uh, straw, paper, and tape. Um, so essentially, you just make paper tubes to fit around the sh uh, straw, and your breath is essentially just the propellant, and you just modify them or just test them out to make them aerodynamic. And we learned about uh, center of gravity and center of pressure, that's essentially it, and some basic principles that make the rocket, you know, work. <laughs> Alright, so one of the products we did was the match head rocket that used air pressure to launch off. So basically you use a match and then you cut off the top and then you wrap it in tin foil, and aluminum foil, and then you launch it off with a skewer. Um, and we learned that um, people who made more rockets that were bad um, performed worse than people who made um, few rockets of better quality. Um, another one we did was Diet Coke and Mentos, and we, the materials are Diet Coke, Mentos, and tape. So you just tape um, a few Mentos to the top of the cap, and then um, whenever you shake it up and throw it um, into the air and it hits ground, the cap will break due to the pressure, um, and then it sends it into the air. Um, we learned that the poor surface of the Mentos allowed the Coke to form uh, carbon dioxide bubbles, uh, and this builds pressure for propulsion. So one of the other, uh, other projects that we did is a balloon lift. So essentially how this works is uh, it is propulsion used through air in a balloon and um, it takes off. The goal of this is to get as many paper clips into, add to the ceiling as, as, as many paper clips into the ceiling as possible without, like, ha without <laughs> actually having to touch the ceiling. So um, we, I, we learned that you had to have the same the center of gravity center of mass because if you have too much weight paper clips on one side of your balloon it's not it's going to tend off to the side and never hit the ceiling so um and then our next one that is kind of similar to balloon lift is balloon distance which is basically instead of being vertical it is more it is horizontal and uh same premise with balloon balloon lift you need one to four balloons uh infinite duck or masking tape and the goal is to get as far as possible but you don't need any paper clips and so what we learned with this one is how friction can affect your results heavily because if you're the straw that you're attached to the rope that attached to the string it won't go as far as if it was if it was like straight up you know and then also uh, thrust and obviously thing center gravity and center of mass same thing This is a baking soda and vinegar rocket. Uh, was it my? Yes. Okay. Materials were vinegar, baking soda, cork, tape, pencils, and a bottle. Um, so it is operated on a reaction where the vinegar and baking soda turned into carbon dioxide, which created a bunch of pressure that just popped out the cork. It wouldn't work without the pressure because um, it slowly generates CO2. So if the pressure is all bottled up, then when it releases quickly, even the mixture inside all sprays out, as you can see over there. And that gets it a lot higher. Um, we learned about chemical reactions and pressure launches, as well as techniques to delay the reaction of a better launch. So. Uh, extraterrestrial renders our uh, eggs were the astronauts and we had to make them survive please hold yes sorry the egg drop was um, just made out of paper tape straws and wooden skewers and not much but I managed to make it um, uh, and his winning model was a bunch of crunched up paper wrapped in tape and it worked really well, even from two stories. And 
Uh, parachutes are not allowed, by the way. Um, so we learned about that scary looking formula. So basically it means momentum equals force times time. And basically it all means that if you spread out the time, then the force will also be spread out. So you'll have to, so whatever gets the force will have to endure less of it, but for a longer time, which makes it easier for an egg to survive. So another project we did was an air powered rocket. And so what you need is a bicycle pump, one of the launching things, and then the actual rocket itself. And it works by pumping the air into the rocket launch thing. And it builds up pressure until um, the pressure makes the rocket release and that's what powers it. Um, this right here is the water molecules being released after under so much pressure. And what we learned were kinematic equations, um, the difference between air experimental and actual results, and how to calculate launch velocity from flight time. And then something else we did was an alcohol rocket, and we used a bottle, isopropyl alcohol, and a match. And so what you do is you pour alcohol into a bottle and then shake it around a little bit. And then when you put a match um, near the bottle opening, then it'll catch on fire and then it launches. So what we learned in this project was how carbon dioxide propulsion is used for thrust. Thank you. <laughs>